the United States mulls putting NK on terror list, President Barack Obama has said that the United States is considering putting North Korea back on its list of terrorism sponsors after the hacking of Sony Pictures. A decision would be taken after a review, he said, calling the attack an act of cyber vandalism, not of war. North Korea denies the attack over the interview, which depicts the fictional killing of its leader Kim Jong-un. Sony cancelled the Christmas Day release after threats to cinemas. It is considering a different platform. Costly in a CNN interview, President Obama described the hacking as a very costly, very expensive example of cyber vandalism. He said the United States officials would examine all the evidence to determine whether North Korea should be put back on the list of state sponsors of terrorism. I'll wait to review what the findings are, Mr. Obama said, adding that he did not think the attack was an act of war. North Korea had been on the United States list for two decades until the White House removed it in 2008, after Pyongyang agreed to full verification of its nuclear sites. On Saturday, the, the United States also asked China to curb North Korea's cyber attacks. So far there has been no response from Beijing, North Korea's main ally. North Korea's communications run through China. The FBI said on Friday that North Korea had carried out last month's cyber attack, in which script details and private emails were leaked. The, the United States defended its findings on Saturday, with the United States National Security spokesman Mark Stroh saying, we are confident the North Korean government is responsible for this destructive attack. If the North Korean government wants to help, they can admit their culpability and compensate Sony for the damages this attack caused, he said. The interview saga November 22, Sony Computer Systems Hacked, exposing embarrassing emails and personal details about STARS December 7, North Korea denies accusations that it is behind the cyber attack, but praises it as a righteous deed December 16, Guardians of Peace hacker group threatens 9-11 type attack on cinemas showing film, New York premiere cancelled December 17, leading the United States cinema group say they will not screen film, Sony cancels Christmas Day release December 19. FBI concludes North Korea orchestrated hack, President Obama calls Sony cancellation a mistake December 20. North Korea proposes joint inquiry with the United States into hacks, rejected by the, the United States. Line the interview features James Franco and Seth Rogen as two journalists who are granted an audience with Mr. Kim. The CIA then enlists the pair to assassinate him. The film's cancelled release drew criticism in Hollywood, with some calling it an attack on the freedom of expression. Sony says it made the decision after most the United States cinemas chose not to screen the film, following the threats.